let's go over how hashtags work on Instagram. Now you might have seen the use of hashtags. You might be wondering, are hashtags dead? Are they still relevant in 2023? Are they good to add to your profile or to your videos, your posts? Or is it just useless, kind of not needed information in 2023? I'm gonna walk you through all of that information, but first hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps me out a lot. Thanks guys. So let's open up Instagram here and I'm gonna show you what the hashtags are. So let's tap on the search at the bottom left and, and we'll scroll down and we'll search for a hashtag. So I'm gonna search for surfing here and you can see, see all results here. Now I can choose at the very top right tags and this will take me to hashtags. So you can see surfing has 20.5 million posts. I can tap on it and it will show me all of the posts that are related or have that hashtag on there. Now keep in mind, this specifically categorizes and tags your video or your post to surfing. So if somebody follows the surfing hashtag, they might be more likely to see it. However, a key thing is that Instagram has gotten pretty good at identifying exactly what is in the photo or video themselves. Because if you go into creating a post, you'll see under the alt text that they can predict what is in that photo and they'll be more likely to basically show that content to people that want to see it. So it's a bit of an antiquated technology to use these hashtags, but it probably doesn't hurt. So when you're creating a post, you can always add those hashtags. Let's tap the home button at the bottom left. And I'm gonna just swipe to the right and go over to post at the bottom. Now I'm just gonna choose a random photo and hit next here and next again at the top right. And now in the caption, I am just gonna add a hashtag that is orchids. And I can select orchids here and hit okay. Now what this does is it will indicate to Instagram that this is a photo of an orchid. So if anybody follows orchids or they like orchids, they are more likely to see this specific post as long as my profile is public. But keep in mind, again, if you go in here, the Instagram algorithm most likely identifies that this is a flower. Maybe not an orchid, but probably at least it identifies it as a flower. So it's up to you whether you want to add those hashtags. Now, it's probably less useful than it was maybe five or 10 years ago, but it probably also doesn't hurt. I recommend maybe adding a couple if you feel like it, but don't spend a tremendous amount of time adding those hashtags because most likely the algorithm already just figures that all out in the back end every time you upload a photo or a video. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.